What is astral projection? The phenomenon was portrayed in the 2016 movie Doctor Strange and the sequel Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, where the eponymous superhero has the power to separate his physical body from his spiritual one and engage in combat. Please watch this video until the end before we get started. Subscribe to the About It All YouTube channel and ring the notifications bell to support us. According to surveys, between 8 and 20% of individuals claim to have experienced an out-of-body experience at some time in their life. A feeling of awareness spirit or astral body leaving the physical body. While most people claim to have had these experiences while sleeping or under hypnosis, some claim to have had them while just resting. History of Astral Projection Astral projection has its origins in religious writings. Various religious sources, including the Quran and Hindi scriptures, discuss the notion of the astral body. Ancient Egypt had a separate idea of the soul from the physical body, which was split into eight parts, including the Ba, which was the most similar to the Western concept of the soul. The phrase astral projection dates from Theosophy and Madame Blavatsky in the 1890s. While the idea of leaving the body for a spiritual awakening has a long history, the explicit concept of astral projection is mainly associated with Theosophy, a belief system founded by Helena Blavatsky that centered on spiritual experiences with minimal proof. The notion that humans may leave their bodies while dreaming is centuries old. Many individuals think that astral projection, also known as out-of-body experiences, allows them to communicate through visions and vivid dreams with cosmic intelligence. The concept stems from Theosophy, a 19th century mystical religion that asserts humans have seven bodies, ranging from the lowest physical to the most spiritual and mental. According to Theosophy, the third of the seven bodies of men is the astral body, the astral body may leave the physical and etheric bodies behind and travel on the astral levels, according to publications. According to Engelberg ideas, Theosophy had a significant impact on artists and scientists in the 19th and early 20th centuries. We can see some of the roots of astral projections utilization in films like Doctor Strange, as it became a popular fiction subject. Though it began as a private, quasi-religious, contemplative practice, it has been marketed as have many New Age ideas. Astral travel may be a lucrative industry, with a plethora of books, seminars, DVDs, and other materials promising to teach pupils how to leave their physical bodies and go to other realms. Is astral projection, however, effective? Is astral projection real? Astral travel practitioners claim that the experience must be real since it is so vivid and some of the experiences are comparable across cultures. It's hardly surprising that many people who try astral projection have similar experiences. After all, directed imagery refers to when an authority, such as a psychologist or an astral travel teacher, advises a person on what to expect from the experience. It may be a profound experience, but the fundamental problem is that there is really no way to scientifically measure whether or not a person's spirit leaves or enters the body. The simplest and best explanation for out-of-body experience is that the person is merely fantasizing and dreaming. Because there is no scientific evidence that consciousness can exist outside of the brain, astral projection is rejected by the scientists. 
Why hasn't astral projection been proved scientifically? Some believe that it's because mainstream scientists are close-minded and unwilling to consider information that contradicts their preconceived notions. Those who refute prevalent views, on the other hand, are praised rather than punished in science. The dissenting scientists would deserve a place in history, if not a Nobel Prize if they could prove the existence of psychic powers, astral projection or different realms. It should be rather easy to evaluate the veracity of astral travel scientifically. For example, you could hide 10 unknown things in various locations and then ask someone to project their awareness to each location and describe exactly what they see. Either the descriptions are correct or they are incorrect. These strange experiences have been attributed to the psychopathology of mental disorders such as schizophrenia, personality disorders, depersonalization, anxiety, dissociative disorders, and depression. According to the report, the patient had shown decreased social interest, irritability, and persistent sorrow of mood for the past two or three months. After fleeing, the patient frequently assumed the identity of an 18-year-old electrician. During one of these encounters, he experienced what appeared to be an out-of-body experience. They determined that the patient was most likely in a dissociative state as a result of his circumstances, and that the astral projection can be construed as an element of the dissociative experience in this case. Out-of-body experiences and astral projection might also be caused by other factors. The Atlantic reported on research in 2017 that looked at 210 patients with vestibular problems. The vestibular system in the inner ear is responsible for the body's sense of balance, and problems with this system might make you feel like you're floating. When the patients were questioned, it was observed that 14% of them had an out-of-body experience, compared to 5% who did not have any vestibular difficulties. We don't need to resort to such fabricated testing, because the actual world offers many opportunities for astral projection to be shown beyond a shadow of a doubt. If verified, astral travel would be extremely beneficial to humanity, there would be no need to put humans in extremely dangerous situations, such as nuclear disasters, to figure out what is happening. People with the ability to fly and move through walls would save lives during natural catastrophes like earthquakes, as they could quickly navigate through the wreckage and fallen structures to find survivors and send rescue teams to them. During mass shootings and hostage situations, Astral projectors, like psychics, would be essential to authorities, telling exactly how many suspects there are, where they may be found in the building, and other critical facts. Through astral projection, practitioners say that their experiences are real, just as someone who takes peyote or LSD may be sure that they interacted with God, dead people or angels while in a trance state. Astral projection is a fun and harmless pastime that might appear profound and even life-changing in some situations. However, there is no proof that out-of-body experiences can take place outside the body rather than inside the brain. I hope you find this video interesting and if you did, please don't forget to share this video and tell us what you think in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the About It All YouTube channel and ring the notifications bell in order not to miss our next videos. Thank you for watching About It All.